Hey, it's Dave from CG Shortcuts. Today, we're gonna do this. We're gonna create this creepy sea and enemy starfish looking thing with most blinds in Cinema 4D. I'm not sure why you'd wanna make one of these, but I'm gonna show you anyway. Maybe you're designing some weird alien planet or something. I'm sure you'll find a use for it. Okay, let's get started. Let's go up to the MoGraph menu and we'll grab a Mo spline and bring one of those in. It's not much to look at just yet, but you can always come down here and tweak some of the settings to get the look that you want. But we'll leave that for now. We want to figure out a way to get our Mo splines into the shape of a star. To do that, we'll use a MoGraph cloner object. Don't forget to hold Alt when you bring that in because it'll automatically be applied and become a parent of our Mo spline. Right now it's cloning in the Y direction, which we don't want. So let's come down to Object and we'll change the mode to Radial. We're still in the wrong direction there. So let's come down to Plane and we'll change that to XZ. Now it's looking a bit more star shaped. Let's just bring that radius down to zero so the endpoints are touching. Now if you wanted to create a dynamic starfish, you could probably just leave it right there. But we're going to stick to our creepy sea and enemy thing today. So let's come over here to the count. Now we're going to give it a few more tentacles or limbs or whatever they are. So we'll set that to 30. Now our little sea creature has 30 arms. And you'll see if we go back to our most spline and we come down and change the curve, it should affect all of our arms. And you can see how bend affects it now as well. So let's make this dynamic. We'll start by coming up to the simulate tab and we'll come down to particles and we'll grab a gravity. We have to make sure it's affecting our most blinds. So let's grab that and click on the fields tab. We need to make sure that's set to include and we'll drag our gravity down into the fields box. And now our creature's looking pretty sad. He's a little bit too droopy for my liking. Let's go up to the simulate tab and this time we'll bring in a turbulence. Same deal as before. We've got to make sure it's affecting our most blind. So let's grab it and we'll drag the turbulence down into the fields box as well. I think now is a good time to have a look at our simulation. Let's go down here and hit play. Okay, that's looking a bit crazy. We might need to tweak some of the settings back in our turbulence. Let's grab it and we'll bring the strength up to eight centimeters, the scale to 60% and the frequency to 60% as well. And we'll play that back. That's looking much better. Now it looks like it's swaying in the ocean or the toxic alien atmosphere, whatever you like. Let's go back to our most blind options and we'll change the bend and bring these arms up a bit. That's looking cool. Now we want to give these limbs some thickness. Let's pause that and we'll come up here and bring in a sweep. And while we're at it, we'll grab a circle as well. Let's grab that circle and drag it under the sweep so it becomes a child. And we'll put the most blind underneath that. You can see now, although we're back to only one limb, it has a bit of thickness now. Let's grab all of those and put them under the cloner and we've got our 30 legs back. Now we want to change the thickness of the legs. We'd normally do that by changing the width of the sweeped object, in this case the circle. But as you can see, doing that has no effect. What we want to do instead is click on the most spline and down here you'll see we've got a little slider that can control the width for us. Let's get rid of this blue stuff here by clicking on the object tab and we'll turn the display mode to line. You can see now the ends of our arms don't look very natural. We want to round them out a little bit. We can do that by clicking on the sweep and coming down to the details drop down. And all we have to do is adjust this line graph here. Let's grab that point and bring it down to here and smooth that up a bit. And now it's looking a lot more organic. Let's play that back and have a look. Creepy. You might notice a bit of a performance drop here. That's because if we come up to display and turn our lines on, you'll see that the geometry is pretty dense. We can fix that easy enough by clicking on our circle and changing the intermediate points to uniform. And that should run a bit faster for you now. Let's put it back to our normal shading. And that's just about it for our little alien starfish guy here. But before you go, I have one last little trick to show you. You can actually make this guy interact with the environment. To do that, we'll probably have to bring our geometry down even further so it doesn't slow down the system when we apply dynamics. Let's go back to our circle object and we'll bring this number down to zero. We can speed things up in our most spline as well by bringing the steps down to 10. If we switch our display back to lines again, you'll see that our geometry is nice and simple now. Okay, here's where it gets interesting. Let's come up here and grab a landscape object. 
Then we'll go over here and grab our cloner and just bring that up above it. It's kind of wiggling a bit there. Ugh. And we'll scale that up to give us some space to work with. Now let's come up and add a tag to our landscape. We'll use a simulation tag, the collider body. And we'll click on our cloner and add another tag. This time simulation tag, a rigid body. So in theory, our creature should fall down and collide with the landscape and start wriggling around. Let's come down here and give ourselves a few more frames to play with and hit play. And there he goes. You can have all sorts of fun with this. The easiest way to change the simulation is to come up to the most spline and play around with the bend and the curve. You can get him jumping and crawling all over the place. Just like that. When you're ready to render him, just throw your cloner into a subdivision surface. And he'll be just as creepy looking as before. Haha, <laughs> look at him go. Okay, as always, if you want to download the project file, there's a link below to save you a bit of time. And you can get a whole bunch of extra stuff on our Patreon page. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you want to see in the comment section below. Or you can leave a like or dislike. And don't forget to subscribe and click on that little bell icon for more videos and free stuff. Catch you next time.